what we are presenting at this event is the Telco software defined infrastructure, which is part of the overall uh, IT portfolio for HP, in which we basically select a subset of the networking and HP service organization uh, to create this set of solutions, of which we have two first. Okay. The Core NFVI Rack Mount Blueprint is a reference architecture specifically designed for the core of the network. We have the Edge Blueprint. These are the first two ones. Uh, there will be many more shortly. Okay, we're working on the testing, certification, and selection, all the product definition for this set of reference architectures. The idea is that ITification of the network is a fact, it's, it's happened. Now we need reference architectures to facilitate making sure that all the VNFs and other applications by the, our friends in the network equipment providers actually work for the telcos. So we have brought this to, we can show it them in this rack, it's a virtual rack, it's a cool solution, to show it instead of bringing an actual rack and showing how it works. So we'll go first to the core blueprint. We'll switch to the 3D vision, which is actually more interesting. And we will see a typical architecture for an NFVI infrastructure. Etsy canonical within the NFV uh, initiative. And we see the top of the rack switches, very common. In this case, we have the 5900 series with high availability, two of them for the compute section, one of them uh, duplicated for the, for the control section of the tower. And down here we can see a section for control, which is depicted over here. Okay. This would typically hold the VIM, be it any open stack or friends of VMware, whatever customer decides. It's important to focus on the fact that this is our reference architecture, unlike other products we created in the past for NFE, meaning that it's an idea, it's a bill of materials, it's a set of manuals, a set of compatibility metrics and scripts that allow as easy as possible deployment of these infrastructures versus more closed uh, uh, approaches that we did in the past with the NFE system, for example. Anything is is substitutable by anything else. And actually we're doing this as customers, we're doing this as a reference and then we substitute. The, the purpose of the core is to go in the core section, as it's named the pit, uh, uh, of the operators. The compute section here is very tiny, you can see those two servers for, for compute, but this can scale adding more rack mount servers and it can be substituted by other solutions like Synergy servers, blade servers, any that can do compute within this infrastructure. There's a shared storage, which again, in this case is Ceph, but it can be 3 par or any other solution, even by other parties. I mean, other vendors can be part of this infrastructure. And typically in a project, what HPE would do is creating the custom solution for the customer, work it out, test it, certify it, certify it with the VIM vendors and the VNF vendors, make sure that a telco cloud is properly deployed as a software defined infrastructure. I also want to show the Edge solution to explain how we can create different flavors of this idea. For example, this one, which is consisting of control section within one U in a small server, which can barely be seen here. It's a four cartridge in one U for the control section. Very tiny section down here for the control. Pretty small section for the compute in hyper-converged servers doing storage and compute. And the typical uh, switches, top of the rack switches up there. We're typically deployed in a much smaller factor in the edge, even less servers, possibly compute also in edge lines and ship it as is 
with its virtual infrastructure manager to an edge location. And the whole idea for the strategy of HP within telco space is precisely design your infrastructure for the right place in the network from the core to the extreme edge. So for the core you will do big rack mounts, big synergy blade infrastructures, able to consolidate a lot of compute power in as, as little space as possible on consumption of energy, which is actually more important than the price of the servers. Uh, but for the edge, and the farther you go into the edge, you will go to smaller footprints, smaller servers, maybe, for example, these edge line servers specifically for extreme edge locations. And the way you have to secure the software-defined infrastructure as an open software-defined infrastructure is through the use of Redfish interfaces for the management. And thank you for your attention today.